Hey guys, good morning. We just got back from church in the grocery store. At the grocery store, I got some of these like applesauce veggie stuff. Um, it's applesauce with like pureed veggies as well. I'm hoping that I this is a way that I can get my uh, like veggies in because like with my stomach being all upset, sometimes it's hard for me to get veggies. I tried the Go Go Squeeze. Um, what was it? It was the one with carrots and applesauce and pears in it, and it was really, really good. I really liked it. So I figured I would try a couple more. The kale one is, <laughs> I think it's gonna be a little bit out there, but I'm still gonna try it, and hopefully it'll be delicious because it wasn't very cheap. But if it's a way that I can get my veggies, I'm glad to try it. All right, see you later. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be doing my like physical therapy stuff here and kind of like doing a little workout while I watch, uh, I don't know, whatever they put on the TV, so, all right. <laughs> I just set up a little area here so I can vlog um, and hopefully I can stay out of my family's hair for a little bit of time so this is actually like a little quiet corner that I can sit down and talk to you guys um, I got this little tapestry thing at five below and the lights I got at ShopRite for like three dollars so yeah I just set up this little corner and I will be talking to you guys in this corner and hopefully doing many videos here. And then it's kind of portable because all I use is command hooks. These little like binder clips for my Christmas lights so I'm not like pinching them. Because I, I put them through that little channel there. Woo. Um, so that I'm not like pinching the wire and like gonna burn them out or like burn the house down. So, yep, I'm trying to come up with a line that I'm going to say every night um, because I follow the Fry Life and I know they always say, as always, we will see you tomorrow. But since this is a weekly vlog, I don't get to see you guys the next day, neither do you get to see my life. So if you have any recommendations of what I should say at the end of each vlog to kind of like give it the right aura almost? the right kind of feel the homey feel that I really want it to have then go ahead and leave that in the comments I know there's probably like five of you watching this and then the other views are probably from my parents I mean, be sure to subscribe if you want to follow along on my life and my journey to St. Kitts alright see ya hey guys just thought I would vlog a little bit of an update today was a Monday um the 27th Monday November 27th um, and I had work at Banfield so I was there for like the whole day and the whole day I was kind of like lightheaded and like a little bit of brain fog which I've been having going on for the last like five or six days I'm going to see my cardiologist tomorrow after work um, so I'm hoping to talk to him about that and see if maybe my meds need to be increased or changed or um, there was one prescription that he had prescribed for an inhaler that's supposed to help out with like all my problems and it was like $300 so I obviously couldn't afford that so I'm gonna see if there's anything that we can do about that um, because if not I won't be able to get that until I get my student health insurance in like 2018 so I'm gonna see if there's anything or any way to try that because at that point I'll be out of the country and like in vet school so I'd rather not be trying new medications. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much my day. We spent at Banfield, I came home, I had dinner and then my sister put on a movie. We thought it was gonna be cute but it ended up being really cheesy. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, Still trying to figure out what I'm going to say at the end of each vlog. 
But for now, I'm gonna say see you tomorrow. Good night. Oh yeah, and so I forgot to include in my last clip. Um, so I wore a headband today at work, and at lunch I went and like readjusted my headband, and I noticed like I have a kind of like a bald spot over here, and I think it might be from like nutrition issues, um, because I have gotten that kind of in the past when I've ow had like really bad nutrition it could also be that my watch band just likes to try to pull out all my hair um but I'm gonna see I see my GI doctor in December and like oh my goodness I guess it's like three weeks from now huh <laughs> all right because it's before my birthday um see I'm gonna see maybe if my cardiologist or anyone has any input on that then the next day I go to the hand specialist. All right, see ya. Good morning, guys. I'm just getting ready to go to the horse farm today. So um, I thought I would bring you guys along. The last couple days I have been doing mostly decaf and a, like a cup of caffeinated because I can't do too much of the caffeine um, because it like messes with my heart. But I have been doing this and I really like it. I So what I put in there, I put cocoa powder vanilla extract, stevia, and my organic half and half that doesn't have any preservatives or antibiotics used and stuff like that. So uh, it's not terrible for you. And it does definitely have some caffeine. Um, and then I just had a protein bar for breakfast. So, yep, I will see you later. Maybe I'll take some pictures at the horse farm and put them right here. Hey guys, just wanted to vlog a really quick update. Today I was at the farm in the morning and then at Banfield and then I had a doctor's appointment at 8 o'clock so I drove back here and then it's only like 15 minutes away and I got out of work at like 7.15. So then I drove, well, I rode, my mom went with me um, to the cardiologist appointment and we talked about my medicine. We're probably going to be upping the number of times that I can take the mitodrine and possibly up, upping it to 5 milligrams. He said the max I could get I think would be like 10 milligrams 4 times a day. So we're going to up it probably to 2.5 4 times a day and then we'll see we'll see what we're what we're seeing with that. Um he also said again if my blood pressure gets as low as it did on Sunday, which was like 100 over 44, like 90 over 44, um, that I should definitely take another one of my mitodrines and that it will hopefully bring my blood pressure back up pretty quickly. Um, and he also, we talked about going away to school and figuring out all that stuff. So I made my appointment for April back when I'll be back. Um, he does think my heart, like weird beating thing is a PVC um, and so he said not to really be concerned about it. I was able to eat a little bit more today. I don't even remember what I had for lunch. I had some apple chips. Like the freeze-dried apples from the dollar store that I love. Because they're like less fiber than the regular apples. And then what else did I have? Oh. I tried that applesauce mango kale thing. It was honestly pretty disgusting, but I ate it anyways because it was veggies and I didn't want to waste it because it was expensive. So yep, yeah. and then just got back from my doctor's appointment. Usually we're in the office for at least two hours. Tonight was just a two hour, like we were in the office for two hours and then we left. Um, after the appointment and it was like just about two hours and I know I've said that a billion times um, and then I got home and I kind of had a little bit of something to eat I had some apple and peanut butter and then a little bit of bonza pasta and I brushed my hair out and it's extremely floofy because curly girls can't brush their hair so, like, all you girls with straight hair out there who are like, Oh, curly girls, you gotta brush your hair every day. Like, doesn't work. This is what happens, so. 
I don't want to end it on that note. Um, but, alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hi guys. Oh, it is on video. Alright, so we're just going to get the hand doctor for my wrist. And we're driving. Mom's driving. Look at the road. People don't like it when you look at the camera, Mom. Makes them nervous. So today's not very interesting, just a normal day. Hi guys! I just wanted to film a quick update on... Oh, hang on. Got dizzy there for a minute. I just wanted to film a quick update on today, my doctor's appointment, and then show you what stuff I got at Dollar Store the other day and kind of do like an... I got the most cheesy thing, so I wanted to do an unboxing um, of that. <coughs> <coughs> um, so first, what happened at my doctor's appointment today? So my doctor's appointment was at the hand specialist, and it's because my wrist, I have a tendon that is subluxing, and it is the flexor carpi ulnaris that is subluxing, and he did say I need to have an MRI with my hand, like normal and then an MRI with it subluxed so that they can see how bad the subluxation is and we can see like what's actually going on in there and then he basically said from there we will decide he's hoping we're gonna try doing something with a splint but the reality is that the ideal situation would be to have the surgery for the flexor ulnar flexor Carpi ulnaris. Um, please. Now I'm gonna go to the fun stuff. The unboxing of my cheesy Christmas tree. It says it is 18 inches high. I haven't opened this yet. I started to open it yesterday and remembered that this would be like a good thing to vlog because it's probably gonna be really funny and cheesy. So first, it comes like this. Alright, so here's my little sad Charlie Brown tree, but overall, for a dollar from the dollar store, I was expecting a lot less. I don't think it looks good. But I don't think it looks terrible either. Like imagine this with these lights on it. Maybe I'll just stick this here. There we go. Now we're good, I guess. Oh! These are the apple things that I like adore. They're so delicious. They don't have any added sugar and they have like less fiber, I believe, than normal apples. And it's only like 70 calories? Yeah, 70 calories in a whole bag of these. So I'll eat these at lunch um, at work, and it's like a nice little snack. It's a Christmas card garland kit. All I saw was snowflakes, and I was like in love. So I got this. I actually think this might be pretty cute. <laughs> We went like 45 minutes to the hand doctor today because it was the soonest appointment that we could get. Um, and then we got stuck in a lot of traffic on our way home because it was like traffic hour. Traffic hour! store I also got these freeze-dried peaches I have not tried them yet I don't want to open them tonight because I just had dinner and I'm extremely full 
so I don't want to open them and try them. Um, but one other thing that I got at the dollar store, and I was shocked, was this. Isn't it so cute? It's like a big popcorn container. So I'm going to use this for a little project of mine. Um, and I'll hopefully show you guys the finished product of this product, uh, project. But I don't want to show it to you before I'm done. Alright? So. I think that's all for today. So. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hi guys. I vlogged yesterday and then I was looking over my footage from yesterday and I realized I mis um explain my wrist injury so what my wrist problem is insert carpi ulnaris tendon is slipping over the groove that it's supposed to be in so your wrist is I can't even demonstrate this because both wrists do this but your wrist is supposed to like you know your tendon stays in the groove it's on my pinky side because that's the side of your ulna, and it's the ulnaris. So basically what con it controls is your wrist going up and down. This wrist, my left wrist, you can see, I've had problems with that popping in and out like that since like, I don't know, like third grade or something like that. It's literally been forever. And then recently, let me see if I can show you this, my right one, has been like slipping over the bone um and it's painful and like it happens more like it's more painful and is more of a problem when I'm doing something with my hand actively like at work I will be holding a dog and I'm holding the dog under its belly if you're a vet tech you'll know what I mean it's like you're basically giving the dog a hug with your arm under its belly and or on and under its neck and that like really hurts my wrist and it kind of like gives out at that point so the hand doctor specialist person uh said he knew exactly what it was which was great and then when i told him that i was going away at the end of december for vet school and i was going to the caribbean and like med stuff down there is not good um he was like oh okay um and so he said at one point he had had someone who needed a brace because they couldn't have the surgery at that time um a brace to keep the tendon in place and that he does think that that worked he is not sure if the person who did the brace because it was at like a therapy place still works there still would do that so he's getting in contact with them and in the meantime I'm having bilateral wrist MRIs in both in both um supination and pronation so that it shows it like normally you know and then it shows it when it's out so I'll have to like I guess make sure it comes out when I'm having my MRI. So I actually had to schedule them in two different sessions. So tomorrow at in the afternoon, I think I have to go like come back here real quick and then go right there. Tomorrow in the afternoon, um, I will be there for probably like 45 minutes um, in the MRI machine, the donut machine getting my wrist MRI and then on Monday morning at like 8 a.m. I go back for my next one of my left wrist. We want to get the right wrist done as soon as possible so that um, we get those results first because that's kind of what's really really bothering me right now. So we want to figure out like what's going on with that. Um, if I were to have to have surgery the surgery recovery time is like, I think it's like eight weeks of like not doing anything. And I'm going to be, I if I were to have the surgery, I would be in vet school for more than half of the recovery. So we're trying to see, I've asked some of my friends who have EDS, 
if they have any suggestions for braces and stuff like that. Um, and we're trying to see if there's anything that we can do non-surgically. Hey guys, I just vlogged the clip on my day today. So today I had work at the pet hospital all day long. Um, and I really didn't have much other than that. I usually come home, I have dinner, and we maybe like watch something and then I go to bed. So it's not very eventful. Um, today was just an average day. It was kind of slow. It's hard to know when people are gonna be there and people aren't gonna be there, so you can't really plan around that. Um, but overall, it was a, it was an okay day. Alright, I will see you guys. Hi guys, I just wanted to vlog a little bit. It's like really cold out so, and inside, so I'm already bundled up in a blanket. Um, I will not be having problems with it being too cold outside when I go down to school in a month. So, I do realize that. Um, so I'm just going to embrace the cold weather for now. Um, so today I was at the farm and it was a pretty busy day. Um, I did end up being able to ride even though I didn't think I was going to be able to because one of the lessons didn't come. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, I can put some of those pictures in right here. <laughs> So there's some pictures from the farm. It was a pretty mild day. Brutus was a pain in the butt. Um, and he ran around the pasture while I was trying to get him. So my first lesson with him ended up being a little bit of a lunge lesson, like lunging a horse. And then we did like just a trail ride. Um, because he was being really bad for her, not for her, for me. Um, and then, let's see, what else? Oh, we went to, like, a little Christmas party tonight. It was nice. Um, it was, like, really sweet to go to. Um, it was one of the kids in my brother's class at school. Their family was having, like, an open house Christmas party thing. So, we went there, my family went there, except for my sister, because... She had to study for a test. Um, and then when we got back, I bathed the dog because she stinks. Uh, well, she used to stink. Now she smells like strawberries. And I was shocked by the amount of dirt that I was getting off of her. So I was very thankful that I was bathing her. Because she was disgustingly dirty. <sighs> um... And then this afternoon I was kind of like brain foggy for some reason, even though I took my blood pressure medicine. So, I don't know, some days are just weird. Um, I guess technically I could have taken another, like taken five milligrams of my blood pressure medicine in the afternoon. But, I didn't want it to affect my sleep. So hopefully I'll be able to sleep well tonight and then tomorrow is church and you will probably be seeing this vlog on Sunday or thereafter. So I think that was it. Oh, other than I didn't vlog on Friday either. Um, Friday was a little bit of a rough day. I had work and then we went to get one of my MRIs done on my wrist. I say one because it was very, very confusing. But we ended up figuring out that I have to have four separate MRIs. So we did one, and they had me laying on my stomach with both of my arms forward in what I would consider like Superman position. And then I go back on Monday morning at like 8 a.m. for my second one, and that's going to be just a regular one on my left wrist. This was my right wrist that we did. And then on Tuesday afternoon, I have a tentative appointment for my right wrist to have it in a different position because we went there thinking that they were going to be able to do like two studies in the same day and they 
were really, really confused, and we ended up being there for, like, over two hours, just trying to figure out when I can have the test done. My doctor is away on vacation this weekend, so they weren't able to contact him and, like, understand exactly what he wanted. So, he's gonna read it and look at my report as soon as he gets it on Tuesday morning. And then they're going to let me know whether I need to keep the appointment for Tuesday afternoon. And hopefully we have what we got. Like, hopefully what we got is good. Because my arms were completely, like, no blood flow. They were really, really painful. I would say it's probably one of the worst MRIs I've ever had. Um, just because of the positioning. And as soon as I got into the MRI machine, I had like sudden really bad vertigo for a couple minutes, which was really, really strange. It was, I think I was figuring it out and I've had. At least two MRIs on my ankle, at least one on my knee. Um, so that was at least my, like fourth or fifth MRI. Oh, yeah, because I've had one on my wrist before. So that was my fifth MRI total. That's fifth or more. Um, and then by the end of all this, Alright, I will see you guys later and have a good night.